For long, Suresh Kalmadi symbolized the kind of Neta the nation has learned to despise. Bluff and bluster personified, even in the face of some damning charges. For most of the last year, headlines today followed this man, tracked his every move and led the way in exposing what has now snowballed into the Commonwealth scam. The thread that runs through it all, obviously, is Suresh Kalmadi, the high flyer who's crash-landed into the deep end of the sea. Can you put your hand on your heart, sir, and tell us that Mr. Suresh Kalmadi or any of the, or any of his family members have not made one rupee of ill-gotten wealth from the taxpayers' money given for the Commonwealth Games? Not one pie. And you're certain of That was eight months ago, when and Suresh Kalmadi brazened out future, every allegation thrown at him during the Commonwealth Games scam. Will but there the comes future, a moment when everyone, no matter how high and mighty, cracks. And, and Kalmadi had his moment on headlines today. This is not trial by media, this is being said by the CAG and the CBC <clears throat> both. I think we'll answer all, there's a committee which is going into it, we'll answer all these questions. Thank you. You're saying that there's a committee, but what, are, what Mr. Kalmadi, Thank are the you. big, Mr. Kalmadi, just Thank a couple you. of more questions. No, no, just a couple of more questions. I'll, I'll answer all your questions. So, Mr. Kalmadi, I'll just a couple all of questions. questions if you don't mind. I'll answer all your questions. Piece by piece, headlines today dug up proof against Kalmadi and his team. These highly confidential internal emails copied to Swiss-based company Nusli and the organizing committee detailed a litany of problems with the game's overlays. How for 1,16,000 rupees each, these air conditioners were rented for the duration of the games. How these wobbly pedestal fans, which would be an embarrassment at a neighborhood wedding, found pride of place at Major Dhyan Chand Hockey Stadium. But it was on a question of these switches and plugs rented for as high as 2,700 rupees that Kalmadi finally cracked. You know, I have these contracts for the seven towers at the Games Village. Now, one plug point, you know, and this is specifically, it mentions over here that there's only one. You know, at one place, it costs 396 rupees. At another, it costs 2,149 rupees. In tower 7, 2,149. At another place, 396. How can these things be explained, Mr. Kalmadi? We will explain every article which we have purchased. And there is an inquiry committee set up for that. I don't want trial by media anymore. This is not trial by media. This is being said by the CAG and the CBC <clears throat> both. I think we'll answer all. There's a committee which is going into it. We'll answer all these questions. Thank you. You're saying that there's a committee. But what, are, what Mr. Kalmadi, Thank are the you. big... Mr. Kalmadi, just a Thank couple you. of more questions. Nein, nein, I'll, I'll what, you said five minutes. No, no, just fine. a couple of more questions. I'll, I'll, I'll answer all your questions. So, Mr. Later. Kalmadi, I'll just a couple of questions. questions if you don't mind. I'll answer all your questions. No, but allow me to finish, no. In August last, headlines today stung the owner of a small-time garment manufacturer who won a bid not to supply sportswear but to lay tracks for athletic events. S.P. Singh's only qualification was his proximity to Lalit Bhanot, Kalmadi's right-hand man. <laughs> Last October, when India was cutting a sorry figure before the international community, an arrogant Kalmadi fought every charge with equal belligerence. But the picture has changed since then. An Air Force pilot, a high-profile Congress MP and once a close confidant of Sharad Pawar, Suresh Kalmadi is now suddenly feeling like an outcast. With Bureau Inputs, Padmija Joshi, Headlines Today.